Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Renee Barnett and in today's video, I'm showing you how to clean, cut, and remove toxins and poisons from aloe vera leaves before applying the gel to your natural hair. So we want to clean and remove what is known as aloe latex, which can be found under the plant's skin. Because yes, it can be very harmful, especially if you have an allergy to latex. It can cause skin itchiness, a rash or little bumps to appear on your hands when you're cutting it up and haven't properly prepared it. It can even cause eye redness and a burning sensation on the skin. So I start by cleaning the outside of my aloe leaf with a rough clean sponge to remove anything that might be on the leaf that I can't see. And this skin is pretty thick so don't worry about injuring the skin of the aloe leaf. I did get this from the organic section, but you can never be too sure. So like the rest of my fruits and veggies, this aloe leaf is getting a nice little bath, guys. So after I'm done washing off my leaf, the first thing I do is cut off the bottom white part of the aloe leaf. And as you can see, if you place it on a piece of white paper towel, you can see the yellow latex. And that is what we want to get rid of. This is the part that we do not want on our skin. So next, I finish cutting up my aloe leaf into small pieces and removing the spiny parts on the side of the leaf. Just make sure you don't cut off too much of the body of the plant that contains all the good aloe gel that we want to use. So now I'm preparing a water bath for my aloe leaves to soak. So this bath will allow for the latex to drain out of the leaves and into the water. And after about an hour of them soaking, I'm going to transfer my pieces to another bowl to allow for them to stand up and let any remaining latex continue to drain out. And as you can see guys from my first container, the water is yellow, which means the process has worked. I'm just going to let my aloe sit overnight in the refrigerator and continue to drain just to be safe. So the next day I remove the aloe from the water and as you can see the water actually looks very clear meaning there was not any latex left in the water. You can also see that from the paper towel which has no yellow latex on it. Now that my aloe leaves are ready I'm just cutting up my leaves down the middle so that I can extract the gel and I find it easiest to use a spoon to scoop the gel out. So like I've mentioned before in my video where I actually used aloe vera mixed with amla and fenugreek powder in a hair mask. By the way guys, if you have not seen that video, you can follow the link above after you finish watching this video of course to check that one out. Like I was saying, the aloe is a great scalp exfoliator because it contains proteolithic enzymes that help to unclog the pores and promote hair growth by making the hair stronger at the root. Yes, guys, look at all that beautiful aloe gel. Now I'm just further breaking down the gel by blending it, and then I'm going to strain it to make it easier to use on my hair. So guys, with this gel, you can make a simple scalp treatment by mixing the aloe vera and olive oil, and then massaging it onto your scalp to help exfoliate the scalp and promote natural hair growth. It's also a great detangler. It can be used as a deep conditioner in a hair mask, and it would be great in a hair smoothie, or you could use it in your hair butter. So I will actually be using this gel as a detangling pre-poo conditioner by mixing it with my usual pre-poo concoction that's going to melt away my tangles. I'm just placing it into a little bottle so that it's ready to go. Guys, there you have it, your clean, cut latex free aloe vera gel in a bottle. So I'm going to go a step further and apply a label to my bottle so that anyone who goes into my fridge knows exactly what it is. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, let me know how you use aloe vera gel in your hair regimen. 
Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.